All right, guys, just want to do a quick update here. Um, just want to talk first off uh, about yesterday. Um, threw a video together, a feeding video in this tank. Uh, I'm, I'm really, you know, really pleased with how many people took it for what it was. I mean, it wasn't a, net, a tutorial on how to feed your fish. It wasn't, you know, this is how I do it. This is the way you need to do it. It was just for fun. Um, it seemed like pretty much everybody took it that way. So really happy with that. I, when I did it, I wasn't too sure. Uh, you know, a lot of people get really worked up if you try to show them something or tell them how to do something so so thank you for everybody that just took it for what it was just having fun throwing some fish food in there and watching see really how fast these guys can eat and just kind of a a demonstration of you know just what can happen if you do overfeed and and how easy it could be to overfeed so that's all it was and uh thank you guys for for taking it as you know as as such um one thing i do have coming up people have mentioned it before with this guy my uh, Venustus, um, this is the way he looks 24-7, uh, full breeding dress, uh, doesn't have the spots on the side, um, he's a 7 inch fish, uh, I really like him, the problem is obviously when he looks like that everybody else looks colored down, um, it's kind of the, the good and the bad with a all male tank, um, he just looks too good for me to take out though, so uh, you know I wouldn't mind some of my other fish that are you know, maybe a little bit uh, uh, more unique or, you know, harder to get um, coloring them up. But uh, when he looks like that, the rest of them are pretty much, pretty much blah. So anyway, that's about it. Uh, and I'm going to do a kind of like a species only thing with a video with these guys. Uh, he's going to be the first one to, to get a thing. That's coming up here probably in the next few days, maybe right after Christmas. Um, it's not going to be me reading you know, off of a, you know, piece of paper so much. I'm going to do something a little different that I haven't really seen a lot of people do. Um, I think you guys will like it. it. It's same thing, fun. It's going to be a fast, quick video, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, let's head over to the 125. Yep, set the bag. Everything in here looks pretty much the same as it always does. Uh, the Protomelis marginatus, uh, turquoise app. You know, he's always looking pretty good. Uh, it took forever to get him to color up, but finally has. Um, the Insignus at the top, the Mylochromus. A few do new fish in here. Um, it's the uh, Mylochromus Torpedo Blue. Jay Wilson had one of these guys, said his was getting beat up. Uh, you know, I'll second that. They're very uh, passive fish, uh, but really cool, really cool shape. And this tank, he's, you know, fine. He's about the same size as everybody else. If I put him in that 220, he'd be... I don't know if he'd make the day, so um, let's really uh, plague it on. Trimmer Cranus, plague it on. It's a really cool fish. Um, it's part of my Southeast Cichlid order from last time. I really didn't do a video on it. Uh, if you guys want one, I'll throw it together. But uh, I got like five fish. Um, pretty cool ones, but sometimes I get bored doing those kind of videos. So the old blue dolphin's still in here. That's about it in this tank. Try to keep it going. Go in here. Uh, it's the 180. Um, fortunately, it's hard to film in here during the day because there's such a glare in this part of the basement. We've got the peacock bass doing great. Um, I actually just kind of measured them up. The nice thing about this piece of glass that I've got here is when they're at this bass will sit long ways and I can actually put a tape right on there and measure them um, 11 inches so it's basically right on 11 inches so this fish here has actually gained like two inches since I've got her so that's pretty cool um, yeah the pier's eye Severum still in here uh, Princess Peach still going good um, and then the black belt Visha black belt uh, catfish fire mouth I did lose one fish, uh, the Vigia Gullis. I did lose one fish uh, when I was in Pennsylvania. Um, the Texas cichlid, he was half eaten. Um, same size as uh, the fire mouth, but I don't know what happened to him. I'm assuming one of uh, the peers I or somebody uh, pour into him. Finally, guys, the 75 gallon. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot with this tank lately. Um, and you should see there at the top ready to get fed. I got some decent peacocks in there, but those guys are all going to go to the 
local fish store to get traded in. Um, everybody else, like I said, there's a couple of these guys that are going to get traded um, for those Vijas. Um, they haven't came in yet, so I haven't traded these guys. It'll probably be right after Christmas. So this tank will be, you know, pretty much cleared out uh, within the next couple weeks. So do something different. So that's about it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to do a video tomorrow, too. Um, a little something different that I don't do often, and I mean, I, I do have videos for everybody to see it, and everybody's welcome to see it. However, it's really not uh, specifically for anybody else, um, other than like, uh, you know, my uh, my family, uh, people like that, that really would understand, like, what it is and you'll see it like i said if you want to watch it watch it it's like an eight minute video so that's it for now take care have a good one